Hello and welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video. Now you may see I'm surrounded by loads of really exciting products that the guys from ORE have sent over to me. Now these are all light parts, either spotlights, rear work lights, and I've also got some looms that will help me install these to the car. The first thing that I wanted to do is give you an overview of what I've got here and then we're going to talk about the rear work lights which I'm going to be fitting today. So, first of all, if I slide these out of the way and open these up, these are some four uh, LED spotlights that are going to be mounted to the roof rack of the Defender. So if I open these up, I'm really excited for these. Uh, there we go. This is effectively going to mount to the roof rack. So we've got four of these. Now these, I've already seen a few demo videos and these are so powerful and really excited to fit them to the car. They come with uh, the, obviously the wire and the connector to be able to connect them to the loom that you can also get provided by ORE. So they're really easy install, fingers crossed. Um, so these are really great. I'm really excited to install these onto the car. So I've got four of those that are gonna go across the top of the rack. And obviously we've got all the mounting points and they'll go through uh, my roof racks, the genuine Land Rover roof rack. They'll just drop through the holes uh, and should fit up really easy. I obviously have to connect all of the lights together, and then going to run a cable down the, I think the A pillar, into the dash, and then I've got a genuine switch on the way. So I want it to look really OEM, uh, so that when I flip the switch, the lights are going to come on. I don't want to connect them to uh, the high beam yet. So they're the spotlights. The second thing, I've already opened these as well, are two rear work lights for the back of the Defender. So when we're set up camping, we can flip the switch and we can illuminate the back of the car. So here, we have them. I went for like the slimline uh, option. I thought these looked really neat and these will mount to the back of the Defender. I was going backwards and forwards as to whether I was going to mount them on the rear roof rack or whether I was going to mount them to the Defender. I was partly worried about drilling the actual uh, Defender itself, but having gone backwards and forwards, I think I am going to do that. Uh, so again, these have come with uh, another loom. Uh, in the loom, there's uh, obviously the switch uh, to turn them on and off. I will change that for a genuine switch. And then we have the two connectors which will basically connect into the light uh, and then we have the connectors that will connect to the battery terminal or some live uh, feed of some sort. Uh, the lights, yeah, so this has got the protective film on it at the moment, I'll take that off uh, a little bit later. But really excited again for these uh, and to install them and these are what we're going to be installing today. So I've started the strip down of the back. I've taken off the rear plastic card trims, so these ones, these are just held on by some tacks. So I use uh, just a plastic remover tool and flick those off and they snap off quite easy. I'm now going to take off the back of the headlining board. So to do that, we have to remove the rear grab handles. They are basically just have a, a plastic cover over that again, I use the, the trim tool to snap them back and then remove the two screws that are holding that in place. Once they're off, then I can remove these tacks again with the same tool, and then this piece should slide off and I'll have access to be able to drill through to fit the rear light. Right, so that's the rear trim out. So that was pretty easy, just held on by the grab handles on those fur clips. Um, so now you can see it's all exposed and ready to be able to, I guess, mark some pilot holes to be able to drill to attach the light through. Right, so I'm just doing a cable check to check the length. So you'll see, if you lift this up, We've got the loom down here with the inline fuse that runs out and will run eventually out of this box and up the dash to the switch and um, then i'm just doing a cable length test so basically i'm going to run the cables out of the back of the seat box up the b pillar and then you'll see up the b pillar and then round along to the back so as i was just doing the cable check i realized that the loom's not long enough for a 110 so it's running to about here with the connectors so i've trimmed the connector off and i'm gonna to have to extend these two cables uh, so i'm gonna crimp those with an extra piece of length wire continue to run it round to the back and then to the back this is where the one light will mount and then again on the other side if i flip round uh, it will run across 
the back of the car and then the other light will be connected there. So here I might just cable strippers that I use to strip the ends of the cables so you get a nice clean cut every time. I've then got some crimps that I'm going to crimp the two wires together. Then this is a selection of grommets that once I've drilled the holes through the back of the car and also through the seat box, these are what I'll use to make sure we've got a tight seal and the cables aren't running on any jagged metal. Right, so there we have the loom running up just to test the length of the cables. I've now got my two extended cables crimped in place to run to the back. So I'm just gonna run off a length, uh, make sure I've got enough to run to the back, trim that, and then we're ready to connect up to the light just to check uh, before drilling the back holes. So there we go, there's my extension to the loom. So this is where the loom originally stopped. I cut the kind of conduit off, um, crimped two new uh, wires in place. Over the top of that, I'd put a bit of a heat shrink tube just to keep it nice and neat and nice and tidy. So there we have it. That's the loom you can see just in the background where it's been cut and extended. And I now have two sets of wires. So this one for the rear left light, these cables for the rear right lights. So now I'm just gonna measure up where I'm gonna drill the hole for the light to go through. Um, obviously on both sides, make sure they're square. I'm gonna kind of be dictated by where the ladder currently is. So it's gonna fit basically in that gap just there, which is a perfect fit. Um, it may protrude slightly. So basically you're just gonna get, get that measured up and ensure that the one on the other side is at the exact same height. Um, then we can drill through, feed the wires through the back and then connect up to the wires that are running to the front of the battery. So here I just uh, cut a template to ensure that wherever I have the hole, it will be equal on both sides. So I just cut that to the radius of the car. And uh, yeah, I just punched a hole through the template to ensure the hole's in the right spot, removed the template and then drilled uh, the hole for the bracket. And then directly underneath that, I'm also gonna have the hole for the cable. So it's really neat and you can't really see it. Um, so we'll drill a second hole for the cable to run through. Just so where I've drilled the hole for the cable to go through, I've now just pushed a seven mil grommet to ensure that uh, no water's coming through and also the cable's not gonna get cut on the jagged edge of the cut of the hole. Uh, so that's in, now I'll push the cable through and then we can connect the wires on the other side. And there we go with the wire pushed through, really nice and neat, just the grommet securing the wire in nicely. And now the cables run through, through the back and then I can now connect them up to the extended wires. So yeah, that was actually really nice and easy. I was a bit nervous about drilling the body, um, but actually, yeah, just take your time, measure, measure twice, cut once, but um, that was actually really easy. Nicely tucked in with the grommet now to ensure that that's nice and, nice and secure. And there we have it, there's the second one mounted up. Went a lot easier or quicker than the first one, now I'd kind of practiced how to do it. Again, I've got the grommets, ensuring that the tight the seal's really nice and tight. I try to make it as neat as possible so the cable comes directly underneath the light, so it's all kind of neat and tucked away. The lights have obviously still got a bit of swivel room in them to ensure that you know you can change the, the angle of them. Um, but really happy with both of those all linked up. And now the next thing is to do the wiring. So the wires are coming through. Um, and now connect them to the longer loom through to the battery. And then we'll think about how we're gonna connect up the switch. But um, yeah, really easy. Um, really happy with how it's going so far. All right, so now in the back of the car, I've got the two wires running from the connected loom of the battery. And now I'm gonna crimp these up and connect these to the uh, light. And then the cable's gonna run down the side of this trim. Uh, so I'll connect those up, do a quick check that it's all good. Um, and then we'll think about tidying the wires up. 
for this one on the back left and I'm gonna run the cable up and tuck it back here uh, and then down as well. So I've made sure I've got enough cable for that. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So crimp them up, connect them nicely and then, uh, and then test. All right, so we have the cables all connected, crimped up and heat shrinked, both on that side uh, and on this side too. I just need to put a bit of heat shrink on there. And they're all connected, running back. So I'm gonna just run and do a bit of a test run. So the loom coming, coming down, then it's gonna run down this pillar, down into, through the seat box, where I'll just drill in a small hole to feed the cables through. And then we've connected the loom to the battery terminal. The negative, I'm just gonna loosely put onto the negative for now, just to do a test. Fingers crossed, the switch will now turn on. There we go, you can't really see that, but switch is on. So now fingers crossed, if we go around to the back, Hey, there we go. So they're bloody out there bright. So they are now all hooked up, both left and right. I think they look so smart. Really neat and tidy job. Right, so I've been trying to figure out what to do with the uh, switch for a while. And I've decided that whilst I'm waiting for the genuine switch, I'm gonna actually put it through the center console. So or the cubby box. So I've drew, drilled a 20 mil hole in the seat box, put a grommet in, ensure the cables aren't rubbing. So you can see that just down there. The cable then runs across the front of the seat box, up through, just under basically above the gearbox tunnel. And then I've drilled a hole through the bottom of the cubby box that you won't see, and then that will then mount the switch, which will be mounted within the, uh, the cup rest. So yeah, really happy with actually, that's quite a neat job. Um, and now I'm just gonna route the rest of the cables through the back of the seat box up and tidy this all up. And then that's job done. We're almost done. All the cables fed through the seat box. I drilled a hole here um, as a part-time measure. This is how we're wired up, so I'm gonna flip this. It's all illuminated. Uh, the cable's running all the way back. They're all tucked up behind the trim. I just need to put the rear um, piece of the headlining back in. But other than that, we are all good to go. There we have it, that is the install of the ORE rear work lights. I'm really happy with just how effective they are. They're also really slim line, they look really great and they're actually really simple to install. So if you want to get a set, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below. Please also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel. And there's plenty more videos of upgrades and modifications to come and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.